Furthermore, if one engages not only in hearing, but in trying to broadcast the message of devotional activities as well, or if he engages himself in helping the missionary activities of Krishna consciousness, he gradually feels spiritual progress. Hmm. Sincerely, your aspiring servant. Episode number 20. So recently I've been having many discussions with uh, different senior devotees, and some of them are favorable, and some of them are, well, they question as, what is my motive for these video, video contributions? And to be honest, that also sparked some personal contemplation and inner dialogue. And although I'm not 100% realistic with my endeavors to produce these videos, or by giving a whole story in terms of my own spiritual challenges, but I can say this. The purpose is to show how dynamic spiritual life can be, or is, you know, and like when you surrender to spiritual life that it's not about, you know, becoming a renunciator or being a monk or being a celibate, it's not about hiding yourself from the world, but discovering the world within and sharing with others. That's, the, that's really the point. And so that's what I'm trying to do, is share this with you in a way that I is natural to me. Art and film, philosophy. But in order for me to share that with you, I also have to keep exploring it myself. And a lot of that exploration happens outside of the filming. Like uh, affected your life? Well, for me personally, it uh, brought myself closer to who I am myself, and that's what it's all about in the end. You know, you just want to be, um, you know, find your place in the world. That's cool. Hi. 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 Hi.
Okay, cool. Hi. Hey, thank you so much. Before, it's called a cell phone. It's a spiritual text. It's 5,000 years old. You know, um, it's like, it's, it's the equivalent of like India's like Bible. Yep. It's like their bread and butter of the of spiritual wisdom coming from the East. I can't wait to look into it then. Cool. Great. And it was nice to meet you. Yeah. Man. Your name again? Trevor? Trevor. Cool. Yes. Knee tie. Knee tie? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Man. And good luck with this. Thank you, you so much. I'm sure yeah. a lot of people will stop by. It's very interesting, so. Cool. Have a good one. Take care, Trev. Charge your focus. Okay. Have you ever heard of mantra meditation? Check it out. Here, I'll show you in this book. Hey Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Yeah, so you actually chant those on beads and that that's actually like what you focus on. So instead of trying to clear the mind, so when you put spiritual vibrations in your mind, then you actually become your thoughts become spiritualized. So then everything you do is a meditation. So it's not just you set aside time for meditation, but your whole life is like a meditation. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool, high fives. Cool. Yeah, it was just a ball around. Cool. Just happy? Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. Are you happy? I'm I'm happy. <laughs> no. <laughs> like involving like a spiritual practice in your life. I think it's really important. Do you want to speak to that? Megan is a lot bigger of a yogi. I think it's the only important thing. Really? Yeah. You're really intelligent. It's a very, very simple, simple thing. And I think that if you start from the basics, it'll build you into something way, way better. Hi. Awesome. Can I chant and be happy? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
anything good in life is worth waiting for. In Sanskrit, it's called Shreyas. The whole philosophy behind Shreyas coincides with one of the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita, where it states, that which starts as nectar in the beginning is poison in the end. And that which is like poison in the beginning is nectar in the end. I'm sure anybody could understand. If you want things cheaply, then there'll be frustration in the end. But if you want satisfaction, that requires a lot of hard work. These are just some simple lessons that I'm constantly trying to invite into my heart to better understand how to make conscious steps for a higher vision of life. It took me a while to post this, but uh, I've been in a transition stage for a while now, and uh, well, I'll explain that later.